Hello everybody and welcome back to Bedrock Survival with Fix. We are here in Dockside. I think that's going to be the name we go with. I got a couple good suggestions and yeah, Dockside just feels right. I mean, it's here at the dock. <laughs> okay, anyway, yeah, so so look, here's what I want to work on. I want to do another one of these episodes where I'm working on houses here, which, you know, if you saw the last episode, you might think, oh, I just did that. I know. I know I did. Look at that creeper in there. Look at that guy. Look at that guy. Here he comes. Here he comes. Oh, man. Anyway, yeah, so I want to do it again because here's the thing. I have this little, you know, I have this little pre-set up area here where I have set for houses. So I want to at least work on this sort of triangle, right? Yeah. So let's go up here and take a look at the general lay of the land here, and you'll see. If I could divide each of these triangles into, well, they're not all triangles, but you know, in gaps into separate little places, I think then we're going to have a flourishing, working, awesome city in you know, fairly short order. Or, you know, I, I mean, I'm kind of eyeing up episode 175 to have this area done, and that's a long way off from now still, but. Uh, you know, here we are in one, what is this, 158 or 159? In that area anyway. So here's what I want to work on. I want to work on houses right here. So I thought maybe what we could do is I could lay out the houses first. Since I know that I'm going to do houses here, I'm thinking that we do probably three. Probably three houses. So probably like a triangle house here, diagonal, and then split this up into two houses. Probably something like that. The shapes are going to be really weird. They're going to be really weird shapes. And I think that's going to be really lovely and awesome to build, but it's going to take a little bit of time to sort of put it all together and, and, and sort out. Let me show you the house that I did do at the end of last episode. Yeah, I realize that this stinks. We'll, we'll figure out a way to make that a little bit better. I'm not sure how yet, but... That won't just be a straight line between the black stone and the uh, the stone dock here. So this house here is a really weird shape. It's super odd. Like I couldn't, you know, I I made it how what? <laughs> I made it how it is, um, and it's cool. But you can see the shape. Like it's not diagonal. It's not straight. It's just weird. It's like diagonal here, diagonal here, but then this cut straight. And yeah. So, you know, it's just, it's weird, but I liked it. I, I liked, I liked the way it came out because it forced me into making it into sort of a different shape. Um, again, there's, there's a couple things over there. I don't really love. And, and, you know, I'll be honest. I kind of, this, this roof up here is a little bit, I wish this weren't so flat. Like what I may end up doing is taking this roof off and making it a bit of an arch. I thought it would be cool to see this more. So maybe it'll be okay. It all kind of depends on what's behind it, like what's sort of in this area. And we're not going to get to that for some time. So I don't know. I'm not sure exactly where we stand there. But regardless of all that, where we're at right now is I need a lot of wood. I need a lot of spruce and I need a lot of dark oak. So we are going to get busy on those two things. Also, it looks as if I need to repair my tools as well. So... Yeah, let's get busy doing the stuff, and we'll come back in a little bit. I think I have a nice little layout here. I, I did attempt to make these houses all different. You know, I have this big wall here, and this might look blah and bland, but I am going to make this an overgrown wall just to bring in some nature to this area. This road's going to have to be expanded somewhat, and that's okay. That can happen in the next phase. But uh, this house right here I have set up, and it, it's I, I tried to make this one pretty square. I tried to make this one nice and round because this is going to be a nice big picture window whenever you're coming up in through sort of the main gates of this part of town you're gonna to walk up here and i want to see this right here where there's a lot of glass and maybe who knows what it'll be something something really beautiful and perfect looking and then over here this one just a nice little house so i have enough room for three houses here and i have them all set up so um I went with, let's see, dark oak, spruce, and spruce. Again, trying to stick to only those two woods in this area. Now, the thing is, I'm going to have to make sure that these are at least as tall as that because I want to basically cover it up. Not only want to be a lot taller, but I want to be at least as tall as that. So, I got some building to do, and I really do like, I really do like, before I go to sleep, I really do like all this terracotta in here. I think I'm going to keep going with that. All different colors of, of terracotta on the second floors. I just think it's cool. I just think it, it brings in a lot of color to this area. It makes it a lot different than over there. And I think that's a good thing. And uh, yeah, yeah, I think it's, this is going to be definitely the style that we just keep keep going with. And um, I'm really enjoying it. So let me get to some building and I'll, uh, I'll show you what we come up with here. Let's talk, friends. <laughs> Let's talk a little bit. Let me tell you, doing this, this style of build... This is not an absolutely great YouTube thing, uh, to be totally honest, because these houses are so 
detailed and so complex to get the right sort of look. I mean, just take a look at just this one little bit. Look how much stuff is going on here. It's a lot. So I've kind of I've kind of decided that I just I just needed to kind of kind of do it, you know. I really tried hard to mix in the colors and stuff. I I used I used uh, right here on this house. I used green on this house, and it kind of connects to that one. I I, I kind of wish it didn't, but I got lazy. <laughs> I, I got lazy and I didn't want to have to go get more dye and I kind of I kind of I have some regrets But I'm not gonna take it all down because it's totally fine So, you know, we have the palette of so far Well all this all the stones all the grays and stuff like that Then we have spruce and and dark oak for the woods and then the colors we have we have light blue and we have green and I introduced yellow we also have gray, but I that kind of doesn't count because it's just like stone But then I introduced yellow here because I want something that really pops especially like here like when you first Let's walk in let's walk around the corner here together so this is going to be eventually more of a grand gate than what it currently is but this is going to be a grand gate and you're going to walk in and you're going to be like bam right there you're going to see it coming up this road because i'm going to have to expand this road a good bit uh, you can see it's it's not it's not a bad thing right i tried to make a nice use of ramshackle but also sort of symmetrical and i think that kind of works um you can see i utilize a lot of these vertical planks that are oh man Oh man, they are really nice. Okay, it's combat time. That's fine. So yeah, the vertical planks are really great on roofs. I'll be using those a lot more just to mess things up and all that kind of stuff. Over along this side, you can see it's not too bad. I have this one house yet to do. I didn't do it because I wasn't exactly sure how tall I wanted it to be. Basically, I couldn't decide if I wanted to be the tallest one or one of the shorter ones. And I still can't decide, to be totally honest. I, I don't, I guess it kind of doesn't matter how oh, i gotta sleep so yeah i i guess it doesn't really matter whether it's the highest peak or one of the smaller ones i i think i might i might mm, yeah i'll probably make up one of the taller ones because it really needs to be dark oak here we have spruce 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 for these three which i did on purpose knowing that this one was going to be dark oak so yeah i'm probably gonna need to see a dark oak roof up there but you know i i think this is gonna be really nice the other thing to keep in mind in this area is that there's gonna be houses like here too or like here right because I'm going to expand this road a little bit. But so when you're walking down here, you're not going to pull back way over here. You're going to see this basically from here. So I need this to be a really sort of close, immersive, um, tight quarters type of city. And I, I think we've really pulled that off. I, I feel I feel pretty good about this very first of, I don't know, five or six blocks that we have. There's a couple other little things that I still need to do. Like, for example... Uh, doors, interiors, floors, even. I need to expand this um, black stone, but I'm going to wait until I put the other sides on because that way I can just do sort of all the roads at once. I do think that I'm going to stretch the black stone right up to the walls, which will be really helpful as well. But this area as well here. Okay, there's a skeleton. Uh, this area as well here, I think I talked about before, but we're just going to do, I, I want to do a bit of a nature, a bit of a crumbling wall there. So um, just to just to introduce a different sort of thing, like maybe something that's not quite so nice. And I think I talked about this too. I, I wasn't totally happy with this short roof up there. And <laughs> unfortunately, the, the only vantage point that I don't like it is this vantage point, is right here, which is kind of a drag. But I, I'm kind of growing to like it because I really like seeing that andesite tower in the background. I think that's really cool, and so I, I think we're just gonna we're just gonna leave it for now. And if I hate it later, we'll we'll deal with that sort of you know later. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it, as they say. And when I say they, I mean that's something I say quite frequently. So so look, I <laughs> I hate to say this because I because I know this is a very very short episode. Um, but I, I think we're at a great wrapping up point for this. I mean, look at this. Look at this area. Oh, wait a second. Hold on. Hold on. Don't click off of it. You probably already did. Uh, I forgot to do this house. I gotta do this house first. Okay, let's do this. This Let's do this third house. And then... I'll come back and I'll show you the, uh, the finished product. Cool. Nice. I forgot about this place. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. I like it. I like it. I'm glad I went with yellow again. Again, I just wanted it to really pop. I went with these really long dark oak logs, and I think it's kind of cool. I want a little bit of stagger there, a little stagger there, and then this one doesn't have a stagger. I tried it. I think it's cool. Yeah, I think it's cool. I think this whole little, little area is cool. I mean, it's only like seven houses or something like that, but they're so freaking detailed and oddly shaped. It really takes a long time to do, but... We will get to, uh, you know, interiors and things like that 
as time goes on. But yeah, this is okay. This is okay. I, I keep, you know, every time I look, I see another little little thing here or there. But at some point, you got to just be like, yeah, we're good for now. We're good for now. We're gonna, we'll keep on working on it uh, in all good time. But you know what? This I think it's kind of cool. I think it's kind of cool. I really like it. I don't know which I don't know which view I like better. If I like this side or if I like going around sort of the other. I wouldn't mind getting a sort of aerial view of this. Can I do that? Can I fly? Can I fly? Man, my wings are. Yeah, they're getting shot. They're getting shot. Maybe. Ooh, maybe up here. Let's see how it looks from up here. Let's see if I can land this. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's okay. It's not, as, it's not as good. It looks better from the ground. Okay, so that is going to do it for me today. I got a lot of stuff done. Hope you enjoy the episode. I'll see you all next time from Bedrock Survival of Thicks. We're going to move away from this area next episode. I don't know whether we're going to hit the, the uh, what do you call it, the Guardian Farm or work on maybe even the docks, which I know is still this area, but not the houses, you know? Uh, or I don't know what else. So come back next time to see what? Uh, episode 159 in the books. See you next time. Thanks for spending part of your day with me. And I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.